welcome students yeah today uh, we just discuss the week number 4 the new topic is projection the new topic it's a projection so the concept of the projection is nothing but uh, the object we are projecting to a straight line in the vertical and horizontal plane that's it in a simple manner If for example here i have drawn one quadrant okay so this one is hp and this one is hp and this one is vp and this one is vp okay first second third fourth quadrant so this is hp in the sense if they may specify uh, the projections it's uh, maybe in a different quadrant okay so from here if the person is looking so i we are seeing from here for example if it is in the first angle projection this is where the projection is in the first quadrant it's considered as a first angle projection so if there is any point which is going to project in vertical plane similarly if there is a point here we are project in a vertical plane similarly we just going to project in a horizontal plane this we will rotate the horizontal plane can be rotated in the clockwise direction so it could be drawn as a reference line drawn as a two point so this point is a reference line it will be o okay reference line so here the question is draw the projection of the following points on the common reference line so first question is is nothing but is a point a is 35 mm above hp and 25 mm in front of vp so let us i just make one model so let us consider this is a first angle we need to discuss so the question is the point a is 35 mm above hp and 25 mm in front of vp so the point is here you just see my pencil tip so if i am considering this is a horizontal plane this is a vertical plane you are looking from this direction and top direction so here the point a is 35 mm above hp here somewhere it is located and 25 mm in front of vp so this is a vertical plane this is a horizontal plane so if you are looking from this direction this 25 you could able to see uh, the height 35 you can able to see here similarly if you are uh, the same point if you are looking from the top you can able to project you can able to project somewhere here okay so let me mark so after that i am seeing the pack here there is a point i am just darkening it here there is a point here there is a point that i have projected from the vertical and horizontal plane this is considered as a reference line let it be reference line so this 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 projection of that object will be in the same line of action same line of action so this is a point a this could be drawn in the two dimension so this horizontal plane could be rotate like this so then you can able to see the plane lambda similarly if it is a point in next other other quadrant horizontal plane could be rotated like this okay clockwise so you will whatever there in the third angle projection okay so first angle projection is a perfect one and third angle projection may be a mirror okay so let us see the point they are asking us to draw in a common reference line following points in the common reference line the first point is 35 mm above hp let me mark 35 mm let us consider this as a reference line 35 mm so in scale i am marking a point 35 mm above hp this is hp and above 35 mm that if you are projecting from here so it will be in the vertical plane so here i am marking okay similarly on uh, this is a point a point a this i am marking so whatever there in the vertical plane you supposed to specify in dash so i am marking this point as a dash similarly i am drawing a line so here in horizontal plane it must be 25 mm so this is a point of projection which i have made so this is a the question is it is the point a is 35 mm above h above hp and 25 mm in front of vp so this is this portion is 
VP, this portion is HP. Okay, this is a reference line. So, this dimensions you need to specify. So, properly provide the arrowheads. This is 25, this is 35. That's it. Okay, this is 25 mm, 35 mm. This is a projection of point of A. So, let us go to the another question, point B. So, here they are specifying the point B is 40 mm above HV and 15 mm behind VP. So, this is VP behind VP this time. So, above HP, behind VP in the sense it will become quadrant 2. So, let us let us uh, take our model. Okay. So, the point B is uh, forty mm above HP somewhere here and fifteen mm behind VP. From here, it is fifteen mm. So, it will be like this. So, if you, if you are considering this as a uh, mirror or uh, this as a glass okay you are looking from here and looking from top so you may see, you may locate here on 45 mm and here sorry yeah 40 mm and behind vp is 15 mm so when you are rotating it it will go these two points will merge so that's what i am saying here the point is here so 40 mm above hp let us mark here and 15 mm in front of VP, you are looking from here and looking from top. One point is projecting here, here there will be and another way you are projecting here. When you are swap it, this 15 will exist here. So let us draw the point B, one is 40 mm, another one is 15 mm, okay. So this point. In vertical plane that is B dash this point is B you can show the dimension like this so since it is you can able to understand that the quadrant is in 2 so this is 15 so totally is 45 so remaining is 25 so let me mark like this so this is a second answer for this question okay point B similarly point C they are asking the point C 50 mm above HV, 25 mm behind VP. 50 mm above HV, 25 mm behind VP. So, if it is uh, 50 mm above HP, yeah, behind VP. So, same. Actually, yeah, this is supposed to be below. Okay, so I, I wrote here uh, mistakenly above. So I will I'll give the similar problem. If it is below, if it is below, so the same point B, below in the sense uh, 40 mm, it will be in the quarter, third quadrant, 40 mm is here and 15. So when you are rotating here, this 15 will go up and here it will go. So the 40 will exist here. So same, uh, 15 will go in the vertical plane, this also in the vertical plane. So this is B dash, this is B, it is 15 and remaining is 40. The case is nothing but um, 40 mm below HP it is from your uh, manual and 15 mm behind behind VP so for that it is the answer so as I, as I wrote here this one is answer similar similar manner the third question point C is 15 point C in the sense it is in the second quadrant 50 mm above HP here and 25 mm behind VP behind this side behind VP so when you are uh, rotating it it will go it will show in the same line of action so I am marking 5 centimeter 
almost it is a 50 mm so let us mark this one vertical plane so c dash and here 25 mm this is c in the horizontal plane so like that we need to mark so i'm just uh, for a dimension you just properly show both the dimensions separately for considering the time i'm making a single dimension similarly the first question the point d is 40 mm below hp this direction here it will come and 20 mm behind vp so obviously it is in the third quadrant below hp and behind vp so here the reference point first quadrant is a reference point so here uh, below 40 mm it will project in the downwards vertical plane and uh, here it is going that's above 20 mm so 40 mm below hp and 20 mm behind vp you will look from here and you will rotate again the hp so it will see it will show you here so this is you can say d and this one you can say d dash 40 and 20 okay similarly so well, finally uh, fifth question is 30 mm behind vp I'm just erasing this common reference line so let it be so fifth question is 30 mm point e 30 mm behind 30 mm behind vp and on hp so the point is behind vp in the sense back side and on hp in the sense here so 30 mm behind vp it may locate here and on hp so when you are rotating it it will show here 30 mm behind vp and on hp this is a point so when you are rotating it it will go up okay so both projections hp and vp when you are looking from this direction or looking from this direction you will get on the reference line so here one point here 30 m so this is a point e when you are rotating it that is horizontal plane here e dash will exist this is the way to draw the projection of points okay so i have not properly maintained of giving dimensions you should maintain okay thanks